I like searching around previous day top gainers, and the, obviously CYCC is not a, a previous day top gainer, but it's a top gainer in the past that has gone on big time rips, where it's gone from three dollars all the way up towards eleven dollars in one day. The stock has gone from four dollars all the way up to six dollars, and the stock has gone from three fifty eight all the way up to five forty. So the stock can rip, no doubt about that. Um, looking at Yahoo Finance, let's bring up Yahoo Finance and let's see what type of activity is possibly going to be moving on in. So again, I'm on a small account right now. I'm trying to use as much advantage as I can to try to get in on plays early that have potential to rip. I would much rather get into a stock that has potential to go 150% uh, rather than you know play a stock that's already ran 150% and leave it up to a little bit of a gamble. That's not really what I want to do. So CYCC, uh, average volume 497,000. We're probably going to hit right around there about a total of an hour. Seven days research reports on trending tickers, CYCC, and Menkind. So let's just check this out. This came out seven days ago. Because again, you know, I love this pattern. Uh, as I said, guys, this pattern is one of my favorite patterns there is. It is when a 13 EMA comes right across the bottom. 50-day moving average comes across the top. Stock gets squeezed inside this triangle. We look at ascending triangle patterns. We look at descending triangle patterns. Triangles and U-shapes is what lead to big-time breakouts. So seeing that we have basically... You know, an ascending triangle pattern with indicators, that's what we want to look at. So let's just look at a couple examples as I always like to show you guys. You can see triangle being formed right here. Triangle leads to breakouts. Triangle leads to breakouts. Triangle leads to breakouts. You know, trying to get these nice squeezes. Uh, that's on the ascending side. If we want to look on the descending side, we can always look at those as well. Uh, triangles that are getting a little bit more, more squeezed on the downside. And you can see triangle being formed, you know, triangle being formed, kind of like 50-day moving average right here, 13 EMA right here, and then we're looking for that lift off. So kind of the same, you know, thought process, but instead of, you know, tough resistance and support, it's more using the indicators to form your triangle. Now, the most recent example we have of this is ITUS, where ITUS has a 13, I know it's a little tougher to see, 13 EMA at the bottom, 50-day moving average coming across the top. Triangle gets squeezed right here, and that led to this very nice climb. It did drop a press release as well, but as I stated, companies hire day traders to tell companies the best time to release a press release. If I was a company, I would say, hey, right now is the perfect time to release your press release on CYCC. So basically, what am I looking at here? If I'm going to go on this trade, let's say, if I'm going to go on this play, why am I doing it? I am basically going on this play for the pure reason of looking for a press release and squeeze. I'm going off prediction. I'm going off of analyzing this chart and saying, hey, if I was hired by CYCC to release a press release right now, the best time to do it would be in the upcoming days. They're not going to come out with any sort of public offering right now. They're not going to come out with anything that's on the negative side right now because you know there's not really much room to drop. It's already been down towards this area. If it does ever get above 186, we could possibly run up to 298 or all the way up to 397, 49 on the RSI, slightly be building higher lows. Still, CYCC it should be about a 1 to 2 million float stock. CYCC does have 2 million in float. So if I, th if I hop in on the stock, Deck, what are you thinking if you hop in on the stock? If I hop in on the stock, maybe we'll get a press release tonight. Maybe we'll get a press release tomorrow. Maybe nothing's going to happen. But at the same time, I don't expect it to, you know, if it drops back down to, let's say, like 172, we know that probably nothing's happening on it on CYCC. If it starts moving on up, you know, we, I, it's one of those stocks that we have a lot to gain and really not too much to lose on. We do have a green candle today, which, again, you know, isn't, at, isn't very common. You can see a lot of red. We had one green pop, start coming back on down, now getting squeezed, 50-day moving average, 13 EMA. If we ever get above 186, we could at least run up to $2, and then I think we could go on a nasty run, possibly all the way up to around $3, if this stock could ever get, you know, big-time activity, hype, or momentum. So I may swing that stock. If anything, you know, I don't expect it to drop. You know, if only, uh, unless there's some crazy press release saying there's a public offering, which wouldn't make sense because they don't have any cash right now. Uh, so they have a perfect chart to release a press release right now. And, you know, we are just uh, keeping our eyes peeled to see you know, where this play possibly is going to be heading. We do have nice 178 support. We're just looking at the level two. Looking to see if this stock could ever get above this 50-day moving average. Failed once. 
It is getting squeezed 13 EMA. Last time we saw a squeeze on this, ITUS. Last time we saw a squeeze, which was 13 EMA, 50-day moving average. That's where the stock went from 80 cents to 253. No doubt in my mind, if we get a hot press release on this, it could go from 180 all the way up to around $4. You know, if we got a $2 rip, <laughs> big time cash. <laughs> so again, that definitely has potential. It's not going to do anything until a press release drops. So watch, watch my theory. Watch uh, my video lesson on my theories. Companies are on the stock market for what reason? Because they want to have cash flow. They want investors to put their money into their, this company so they can be able to do their studies. They can have funding, everything along these lines. So companies hire traders say, hey, what's the best area to, for me to release a press release? Hey, I know. We're, we're above the 13 EMA considered bullish. Coming back down a 50-day moving average. We get above this. Drop your press release. Traders are already watching it. Drop it. Watch this thing move on up. kicking off this day guys what are we looking at what are we focused on well as you guys can see there is an alert in the alert box right now cycc 179 um uh, sell target up near two dollars and possibly above that uh, this was my swing trade from last night but it's not a swing trade that i'm expecting to go on a massive rip right now uh if you guys were interested on cycc I'll show you guys exactly why right now. I'm playing this stock, I'm in the stock right now, purely on the chart that I think this stock has a lot more reward than it does on the risk. And what I like about this play is simple enough the chart pattern. If we can break this 50 day moving average, this 50 day moving average right here at 186, this blue line, this stock could go on a very big run. If we break through this guys and especially get above $2, we have room to run all the way up to $3. If we break $3, we have room to run all the way up to $4. So I think this stock, what is this right here? If you guys don't know, get into the video library, start studying up. This is an indicator squeeze. So we have an indicator squeeze going on right here, guys. And if we break through that 186 mark of the 50-day moving average, this stock could easily get a nice pop. This stock could easily get a nice rip, and this could get a nice play. What was the last play that we talked about a couple days ago that got an indicator squeeze towards it? ITUS. ITUS, same exact pattern. 13 EMA at the bottom, 50-day moving average at the top. Building higher lows, the stock gets squeezed, and eventually we get that pop out and above. The stock goes on a nasty, nasty rip. That's kind of the same exact thing I'm looking at on CYCC right here. This is you know a beautiful chart pattern, 53 on the RSI, 2 million in float. <coughs> uh, most of you guys, again, got uh, our alert last night. If it was in the chat room, if it was a text alert, if it was any of that, guys, uh, I sent out saying CYCC. CYCC actually just jumped up right now all the way up to 186. So let's see if we start getting a little bit of volume in on CYCC. We actually just jumped up, jumped up pretty solid all the way up to 186 right here. So again, it's a stock I am just keeping my eyes peeled on today, guys. I am in on this stock at 179. Uh, it's good to see activity, you know, slowly uh, building into this play. Um, it is very light on volume. I said, uh, why did I swing this other than a chart pattern? I swing this because, or swung it, I guess, because again, a press release, it usually gets dropped. Press releases usually come out on you know good chart patterns. Companies hire uh, companies hire day traders or uh, traders that say, hey, what's the best area for me to release this press release so we can get the most activity? Again, companies are on the the New York Stock Exchange or Nasdaq because they want to gain cash flow. They want to have investors invest in their company. So a lot of traders say, hey, you know what? Um, you know the best time for a press release to come out would be right along this area for we can get a nice rip. And what did we do? We actually did get a press release last night on CYCC. So CYCC, we actually did have a press release come out last night. So you could kind of predict where these press releases are going to come out, guys. You can predict where these press releases are going to come out. So we don't know if that's going to be good data. It says September 26th at 2:30 p.m. We could possibly just have hype, you know, push the stock on up. We could possibly just have you know, potential push the stock on up um, as hype moves on in, especially through the chart pattern. So I'm expecting to hopefully, you know, maybe play the hype, sell the press release. Uh, so if we could go on a nice rip, you know, that'd be awesome. But uh, September 26th is when this comes out. If it just keeps on slowly grinding, you know, if we close today above 185, 
I'm just going to keep on holding it until probably Tuesday uh, because I like this chart pattern a lot. Again, I'm on a small account. On small accounts, you have to kind of take risks sometimes. I think this is a risk worth taking for me. If it ever went down to like 172 or 170, I would have to get out. I would take a small loss. Again, I have 2,450 shares sitting at 179 right now. And I'm just, you know, uh, looking to see if the stock could slowly make its way on up and we could potentially get that breakout and we could get that play. You can see the stock has gone on a rip in the past. So it's just, you know, a stock I'm watching. It's the stock I'm in right now, I think has high risk, low re uh, or high reward, excuse me, low risk. I don't expect it. You know, if nothing happens on it today, I'm not going to be shocked. If it just chills in these 180s, maybe high 170s, I'm not going to be shocked. The big press release, again, will come out on Tuesday. That's going to be the make or break. Just want to give everyone a heads up about what's going on in my trading right now, guys, and um, <clears throat> what you guys can you know, be aware of on the day. So if we get back above this 190 mark, you know, that would be absolutely great for this play. You know, you shaping on up and looking for volume to push on through. Great job for volume already, though, for volume to increase on this play. A couple people asking about, uh, you know, my trade. Again, yesterday I sent out a text alert. It was on uh, the alert box. It was, I put it in the chat room. I even put it up on uh, some of my social media accounts that I was getting on CYCC. I got in at 179. What we want to see on this play again, what we want to see is that possible breakout on that play uh, for you know staying above the 50-day moving average. We stay above the 50-day moving average, that's where that stock could get a very nice squeeze. So I'm already in on this play. If you guys are looking to get in on this play, you can look to get in, uh, honestly, you can look to get in now at around 185. Uh, or 186 or one, if it starts moving on up though and gets above the high of the day that's where that stock could possibly get squeezed very nicely uh as long as we close today above that 50-day moving average i'm happy so as long as we close today above that 50-day moving average which is 186 i'm happy uh that's the main thing i want to do today if that's breakout that's awesome but if it just closes above 186 i'm a happy camper you could see it's slowly breaking that 50-day moving average right here slowly breaking that 50-day moving average right here and we're looking for that ginormous rip to three dollars all the way up to four dollars so right above the 50 day getting a nice squeeze on looking for maybe a nice little gap up tomorrow to like 190 and then the nice squeeze to get that play you know really ripping but you know that's my overall that's my play that i'm currently on uh looking for that again cycc back at 193 cycc back up near the high of the day i do want to see how the daily volume's looking right now okay so we are pretty solid on the volume aspect on CYCC, as you can see, current volume, current volume is at 470,000. Average volume is at 505,000. Now, again, we're less than an hour into the market. So seeing that, you know, a lot, of, a lot more eyes are on this play now. You know, a lot more eyes, a lot more attention is, is on this play right now than usual. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing for us. See, right, uh, CYCC is right at the high of the day right now of 197. Uh, testing those areas again I am still holding that stock CYCC and I'm looking to see if we're gonna have any sort of big ripping that's gonna be coming out and power hour overall the stock is still climbing very nicely we are if you look at this play on some sort of higher low pattern this is going to be my main focus the rest of the afternoon and uh, right now I'm currently up about four hundred dollars but Obviously, as I said, you know, I want this to be one of my main trades that grows my small account significantly. So I'm looking for, you know, a main trade that's going to grow my account significantly. And I do think this possibly could be it. The sell target on this play is up near $2, but most likely I'm not going to be selling at this $2 mark. Look at it fidgeting right here. Uh, so I'm probably not going to be selling at that $2 mark. I'm probably going to be looking for even more because the, the chart pattern is right there. But you could see... You know, 196, we have to, it's three people at 197 before we start moving on up. We have a little bit of a good order, 4,400 shares. So we just have to take out these this three 197s, and then we're on the next leg up. I know the majority of you guys are in on this play with me, though. The good news about this, good news about CYCC, other than the chart pattern, other than the uptrend, is that volume has been increasing throughout the day. And if you guys are looking at this play, you guys can see CYCC volume 1.49 million. We're almost three times the average volume. You know, the volume is 1.5, average volume is 500,000. So, you know, we are definitely bringing in a lot more hype towards the stock than it's, you know, normally used to. Yeah, we are looking for this stock to possibly get, you know, maybe a squeeze on. If you guys could see right at nine, uh, 197 right here. And then we could see if this stock, again, the rest of the afternoon, 
is going to get a little bit of the squeeze because we're still on. It's not again. It's not like a a clear as day type of uh, wedge, but you can get the overall view. You know, get the overall idea right here about what this play is going to be doing. So here's the high of the day at 197. Here's the high of the day at 197. Now again, I'm still holding tight. I want to see a two dollar breakout. And you can see we're starting to get bids now at two dollars or two oh one. Let's go. Let's go, CYC. CYCC, there we go. Keep moving. So get up there, stay above here now. Let's build support at this. Let's build support at two dollars. Got a quick pop, which is a good sign because it's showing it can still break that. It's not show it's showing it's a wall. You ever see Rocky where Rocky is facing the Russian? And everyone thought that guy was a beast, and then all of a sudden he hits him real hard in the face, and he starts bleeding. He's cut! He's cut! Russian's cut, and it's a bad cut! He's cut! He's cut! Thank you, Art. Jeez, at least someone understands me in here. <laughs> we do have some big sellers, though, up at around 203, but still has uh, some good potential. And if we could just stay above this $2 mark, stay above $2, I think we're good. I want to look at that chart pattern again because I do like the chart pattern a lot. I just like seeing it, you know, kind of with my eyes how it how it is currently looking. Again, we want the bids to stay at two dollars. You know, we definitely want to stay above this two dollar mark. Breaking 50-day moving average right here. Again, we close at 201, 203. We have potential at least to run up to this top, this top breaking the 50-day moving average. Potential at least to go up to the top around 214, and then from there we can even have you know gap up maybe up to 240s, run to three dollars. So CYCC, let's try to get this even higher. Looking at the chart pattern, how's chart pattern looking right now? Chart pattern should be looking pretty solid right now. 208, dream, you know the the best chart pattern we could have for tomorrow. Is that we go uh, like close at let's say 211 gap up to let's say like 230 240 you know that would be awesome gap up to this area but guys look at the indicator squeeze on this indicator squeeze on this volume coming in on power hour you could definitely see the stock you know have a nice little gap up tomorrow so this is a very nice play for us at the moment very nice play very nice find at the moment so, you know get this stock on the map you know, get some big activity for CYCC. We still have 22 minutes until this market closes on up. We still have 22 minutes until this market closes on up. Tomorrow's the make or break because I'm thinking about locking in profits. I am because that's just my, my mentality. But it's like we break 215, especially on a gap up tomorrow, it can absolutely rip. Right now, it has momentum. It's a nice play starting to move. You know, I want to swing it. It's like swing, deck, swing. But, you know, my uh, day trading aspect is like, yo. <laughs> That's what he's just saying. Yo. So CYCC. All right. I'm going to keep holding right now. So I'm going to move my stop loss up towards probably around that 206 mark maybe. I want to see where the stock's going to be closing up at because I, I, I still want to give it a chance. I still want to give it a chance. And again, shout out to all you guys, you know, making some profit. Shout out to all you guys making some profit and making some easy cash. You know, I'm super happy for you. You know, so far from our call last night, from our call last night at 179 and seeing the stock continue to move on up, you know, it's great to see and it's predictable. That's what I want you guys to know. You know, this is predictable. This is, trading is predictable, guys. And anyone can do this and you guys can do this. And, you know, if I did it, it's just from studying. That's it. That's all it took. It just take it takes studying. And I, I've worked very hard for the last four years of my life just trying to figure out the stock market and trying to play the stock market to, to the best of my abilities. And I found this play yesterday. I liked it. No one was touching it. But I thought people could come in on it and people could play this. And we could see a lot of activity and a lot of volume towards the stock on the pure reason that it had the good chart pattern. So this is all from studying this is all from you know making sacrifices to learn the stock market and look at this stock go 220 we just hit 220 we just hit and this is really again just from all hype pushing through on this stock all hype pushing through on the stock all momentum so we do have a high right here right around this 220 mark high at around this 220 mark 
Stock has gone pretty straight on up. So a very strong close right here. A very strong close. Still moving on up. Guys, I think I have to call mine. I think I have to call it, guys, to be honest. I have to be a trader that I know. I have to be a smart trader. I have to do what I think is personally best for me. I think I have to lock myself up. I'm very happy for all the traders who made money today. I hope it rips all the way up to $3. It's going on an end of the a climb right here at the last few moments, guys. But I think I'm going to lock mine up. So, you know, I, 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 I'm over kind of the fantasy trading. I got to get out. So I am locking out right here, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, I have locked out. I have made over $1,000 on my small account, up over 30% on my small account challenge now. So I've made over $1,000 right here. Again, if you guys are swinging CYCC, I don't think there's no problem with that at all. Nothing wrong with a, a nice swing on CYCC. I, I swung the stock last night. I just, again, growing a small account, I want to make sure I'm being a trader. And I know a lot of you guys are like, Deck, <laughs> like, Deck, play with us. You know, we, wanna, we want this thing to run. And I know that it's just I have to be the trader that, you know, I, I, that who I am. You know, I just have to be the trader that is smart, that I know I want money as a person, but I'm not going to lose the money I have as a trader to you know, get something more. So that's not what I'm going to go after. So here it is, uh, my personal statement. Again, from eTrade.com. Again, from eTrade.com. Total gain realized $1,004. CYCC was in at 178, 179, out at 220. So right here, right, it's at 222 right now, so you guys can actually get out better before, uh, better than me, actually. So, uh, so I made $1,000 right here. Small account, can't complain. $1,000 gain on a small account, on a cash account, no complaints whatsoever. So I will take that. Other than that, though, guys, I hope you guys absolutely nailed it on CYCC. I hope you guys uh, are going to continue to profit on CYCC. It was an awesome trade for me. And guess what, baby? That's only the start.